the DEA published the Controlled Substances Act as a way to categorize substances that pose some level of risk in categories that determined how restricted they were. Schedule one is the most prohibitive level. And the example everyone always gives is heroin. Heroin is sort of the quintessential schedule one drug. It's been deemed to have a high likelihood of uh, abuse, and it's been deemed to not have medical value, and there are other substances that may pose some risk, but they may have a medical benefit, so they're scheduled on, on less restrictive categories. What I, I don't think the public is well aware of, and I'm still kind of coming to an understanding, is that the decisions of how the different drugs were placed in the different categories was political. It was not driven by science in medicine. It was more of a public safety issue. So if you imagine that representatives in Washington were hearing from their constituents that they were afraid for their teenage children or they'd heard about a drug on the streets that made people nervous, that would make ripples in Washington. And uh, it would be a wise political move to get the drugs that scared people up on the most prohibitive levels of the, con of the Controlled Substances Act. I think what's a real um, potential positive outcome of the work that the Hefter Research Institute is doing is they're kind of compensating for that gap in the scientific knowledge about the substances. And as they slowly and steadily go about their work of accruing more science-based data and more medical-based data and understanding of the drugs, it really challenges that criteria of the Schedule One substances that are not supposed to have any medicinal value. As we get more and more studies published that show that that, in fact, is not the case, it challenges those political decisions that deem them not worthy of consideration in, in a medical context. I don't think that the work Hefter's doing is an overt political attack or challenge to the DEA. They're just going about their business building up a body of scientific literature and, and, and findings to challenge the notion that substances such as psilocybin have no medical value.